Hey there, Interactors. At London Veg Fest, I asked a few people if they thought we could prepare ourselves to have a positive vegan interaction. Here's what they had to say. Um, what's been your experience with veganism? Um, just over two years ago, I became vegan, and um, I think everybody you ask about it um, who's been vegetarian, they just say, why didn't I do it sooner? Um, well, I've been vegan for about three years, nearly. Uh, so I guess you said you're vegetarian and you're yes. vegan? We became vegan probably like three months ago. We've awesome. been vegetarian for probably almost a year now. 100% vegan. Vegan. Was veganism something you uh, proactively discuss in your day-to-day -day lives? Um, yeah, your life? I mean, it is tricky. So I have uh -huh. found that, um, you know, a lot of people don't necessarily want to have um, that conversation. So uh -huh. I think sometimes you've got to do things subtly or just talk about your own experiences. And then if people want to join the conversation, they might or, or they might just take something away from it without necessarily telling you that. Well, yeah, I try to. I mean, um, I work at a CEX in my local village. And and um, all the time on my lanyard, I've always got like vegan badges and everything. Awesome. So it always picks up some sort of conversation as well. I work with um, in the motor trade, and I work with a lot of the, the banter is quite open and free. You know, uh -huh. all my technicians know I'm vegetarian. And uh -huh. It comes up a lot. You know, I get a lot of memes and face, shade on Facebook. It's all joking. You know, yeah. like, oh, you know, the drinking water fish live there. That's mean. You know, and stuff like that. You know, but you no, know, I take it on the chin. You know, each I haven't read that one yet. Yeah, no, exactly. You know, it's all, each their own. Kind of. Yes, it's kind of because I'm a chef at the restaurant and I, I still, you know, cook with meat and stuff. And oh, I try okay. to, you know, I try to avoid everything. So it does come up in my everyday life. But I try to, you know, avoid and like kind of talk to people about it and stuff. So awesome. it's quite hard. Um, yeah, yeah, I work as a barber, so I've got a lot of interaction with people. And, I, you know, I talk a lot about veganism. It's something I really believe in. So, yeah. How often does veganism uh, come up in your day-to-day -day life? Is it something you proactively bring up? It'd be come up every, every day as in like sort of the foods I would eat. Do you think uh, uh, like the uh, majority of your interactions would you say they're positive? Um, it's a mix. I mean a lot of people ask me questions um, uh -huh. it, which is good like the most most commonly they ask me like what do you eat? Uh -huh. um, like they don't, I don't really get the where do you get your protein thing anyway but uh, we're probably past that yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but most of the time it's always like oh what do you eat? Um, like isn't it expensive and that's kind of like but I always correct them on it and I say well you know most of the time you put meat dairy eggs aside you're, you're pretty much eating vegan anyway like I feel like it's a, a positive interaction yeah no, as I said I, I always try to put the positive people say why have you done it and explain why you know it's awesome you know, as I said we have three small children all under four and they're all vegetarian so they don't seem to know or we come from an area that is very highly dominant with animal agriculture though, uh -huh. so it kind of people do get a little like when uh -huh. you speak to them about it but yeah there is a lot of negativity sure uh -huh. but then it's you know it's, a lot of people are like closed in this bubble yeah uh -huh. and they don't they don't know um, Oh, if you become vegan, then you start to see more things, yeah? uh -huh. and a lot of people just don't accept anything. But once they see how animals are being treated and stuff, they 90% people change their minds. Towards, yeah. Yeah. It's a mixed bag. Uh -huh. If we're talking to other vegans and open-minded people, enlightened people, I don't like to use the word educated, I'd say enlightened is a good word, yeah. then yeah, uh -huh. it's positive. But you know, speaking to people who haven't got an open mind or they feel like it's threatening their way of living, you know, then it is quite negative. But mm. I think that we can make a difference by, you know, leading by example and being positive ourselves rather than, you know, two wrongs don't make a right, mm -hmm. you know, so rather than trying to fight it, being more sympathetic and compassionate to where they're coming from. Well, uh, that's a good question. It depends who you talk to, so if people aren't really familiar with the vegan thing or don't really understand it, so they're going to be more negative mm -hmm. um, generally because they just don't really understand it, but if people are short in their health and fitness would be more open-minded. Do you think there's things we can do to prepare ourselves to uh, ensure a positive interaction? Yeah, so one of the things you can do is come to London Veg Fest and uh, <laughs> James Aspie's doing a, yeah. um, a speech about um, advocacy training. So 
it'll be on the channel later. Yes, <laughs> so I'm going to that. And um, Earthling Edston is doing some chats as well about how to be, um, uh, how to be, how to get everyone into a vegan world. So there's loads, awesome. of, loads of really good speakers. So that's a, a way of doing it. And just the YouTube channels: Joey Carbstrong, James Aspey, Earthling Ed, Cool Bashir, yeah. Anonymous of the Voiceless. Oh yeah, just trying to be patient with people, really. I think. Yeah. Um, that's trying to be patient. I'm a bit compassion as well, and yeah. always trying to bring a light of positivity to like to that. veganism. Uh -huh. Oh, absolutely. Just like I generally, try not to go into the confrontational attitude as well. Like, yeah. try to be more positive about the aspects of whether it's like a health aspect or the animal uh -huh. welfare aspect. Because uh -huh. a lot of people can obviously get their backs up about it, can't they? So I think environmental aspect. Yeah, well. that's another one of keeping livestock. You know, it's that was your was thing, it, you yeah, like 1,300 gallons yeah. of water just for a steak or something like that. For the yeah. cows, you know, it's like, wow, really? Yeah, I mean, get your answers and, you yeah. know, learn about it. And people will ask you questions that you don't even think about, you know. Uh -huh. That's what you have to be prepared. Uh -huh. But then, it's, you know, when they, they want to be negative, they can be negative. But, you know, you're doing the right thing. And if you want to change, then if you want to... It, of course, you can go on the streets and promote this uh -huh. and try to, you know, uh, talk to people more and, you know, there's a lot of things can be done, like learn and show people what's the truth. Yeah, yeah, but, um, say everything with a smile. Yeah. That's always a good one. Yeah. Um, and be more educated as well. Do your research, you know, have the facts, have uh -huh. them ready, uh -huh. you know, and then you've... Uh, and try not to be, I suppose, a bit condescending towards people. You know, you're not there to educate them. You're there to open the mind and show them that they can thrive from a vegan diet and that, uh -huh. you know, it's the right compassionate way to, uh, to live. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a good question. I think there is. I think if you were... You know, to promote veganism on on the health side of it, everyone wants to be healthier. So if you were to sort of say, you know, you know eating in a certain way will help to prevent certain diseases, uh -huh. you know, even if you're proving or not, like that's got to get someone's attention. Do you think, as far as far as talking about the subject, do you think if you could guarantee every interaction you had was a positive one, you talk about it more? Yeah, and I think um, there's a big movement at the moment about positive outreach. As well, um, that seems to be the term that's being used, because uh -huh. when I first started looking at things, I thought, well, what does positive outreach yeah, mean? Yeah, right. And um, it is about being the best representation for veganism that you can be. My dad, my mum, they're not vegan, but my dad now drinks coconut milk, almond milk. Yeah, um, he awesome. actually said to me, like, oh, I'm by myself. If I'd known, I would have come to VegS with you and educated oh, myself. Cool. Um, I do like a challenge. I do like yeah. a good um, conversation about veganism, even if it's negative. Because I do some some of the conversation I win. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, definitely. You know, these um, like I said, a lot of people feel as though it's questioning their way of living, the way they've been taught, the way they've been conditioned. A lot of people don't like to be called conditioned. They like to believe that they think okay. for themselves as well. You know, so yeah, I think so. If it was more positive, you know, I I find that myself. You know, at first I had a a fairly negative approach to it myself and you know I would try and force my views on people whereas now you know I'm, I am sympathetic to where they're coming from and yeah and try to make the conversation more positive every time and smile. I would only really talk about it more if sort of they approach you sometimes you know you wouldn't really want to be too pushy or whatever and sometimes you don't want to step on anyone's toes mm -hmm. so I, I'd be and anyone that would come to me I'd always spin it at a good positive angle at it you know for uh -huh. the veganism so no, I wouldn't probably say it anymore because I just really want you know people to come to you. And if they sort of see the how like you know how you're getting on and they like your approach, then I would do it. But it's very hard. Sometimes it's just people don't like to be pushed or persuaded. Mm -hmm. but, you know, like we all have to come to these things on our own conclusions. So if right. everyone to come to you at the reality, that's the way I would work on it. Yeah. So how do you think we can prepare ourselves to have a positive vegan interaction? Do you think people discuss veganism more if they thought it was going to be positive? Let us know in the comments below. Do you want to miss out on all the positivity vegan interactions has in store? Make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video. If the weather's bad, we basically just have potatoes to live on, which isn't bad. I practically live on potatoes now. I'll be a subscriber to your YouTube awesome. channel. You'll be number nine. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta start okay. somewhere. I'm already number ten. <laughs> so I sort of lost my connection with animals and started to question more about and find out more about dairy. And as soon as I found out about just how cool the dairy industry is, um, I just knew overnight that I had to make the switch.